Hello all you wonderful teachers and others who watch my channel out there. Um, thanks for clicking on my video. This will be my last video of the school year because my school district here, the last school day was yesterday or Tuesday. And yeah, there weren't any really, there weren't really any sub jobs this week just because it's the last two days of school. There were a couple like in high school and middle school, but maybe one or two in elementary school. And it's kind of nice to start my summer break early. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today. So as you can see from the title, I did get a call for the first grade interview that I did. I will share my results with you guys later, but if you want to, you can skip ahead of all of this. But I just wanted to share some of the things I learned from subbing and doing long-term sub things over the past year. It's been a crazy ride, and like I said in my last video, like thank you so much for joining me. Whether you joined from the beginning, or in the middle, or the last few weeks clicking on one of my interview videos, I really appreciate it, and I really hope that you guys are getting some great information out of what you're seeing from my experience. Again, or I understand that every experience is so different, and so I hope mine kind of gives you an insight on what the sub life is like. So to go off of that, I just made a short list of things that I wanted to talk about. So if I look down, that's probably what I'm looking at. Just a couple of notes to keep me on track. So um, one of the biggest things that I did learn is that subbing is tough. And it's not that I didn't know that before and I knew teaching was tough from field experiences and personal experiences working with children, but it is, it's really tough in terms of classroom management, in terms of planning. Most of the time I walked in and I looked at the plan, they had everything ready, and I really would have just have a lot of time to relax, which that was kind of the other side of it. There was a lot of downtime where I just got to sit and relax and this was probably the least stressful year of my life in terms of what I had to do for work because I've been in school the past 12, 13, 14, 16 years <laughs> and um, you know it's just nice that I went back to school but it was a much less stressful experience in terms of the teaching part. The classroom management part varied as much as I know there's my dog back there <laughs> um, you know with the kids every experience was different and varied and it was just it was really cool to see so many different kids out there but it was also really tough I mean every class was chatty every class had that one or two challenging students every class had those amazing students who are there to learn and are excited and it's just a really great experience with every child in the class, for the most part. Um, I'd say overall, I maybe had one or two like really bad experiences where I was like, I probably wouldn't go back there. I found one school in particular that I, if I see it pop up, I will never go back there. Um, just because every experience I've had there has been really tough. And so I probably wouldn't go back there. But for the most part, I had lots of classes that I really, really enjoyed. They were really fun and it was a great experience. I had quite a few teachers ask me to come and sub in their classrooms. So that was really cool. And that kind of leads into my next one, which is connections. And I know in any job field, building those connections is so important, but I think even more so in education, being able to have another teacher <laughs> vouch for you to say, wow, this teacher or this sub is really amazing is something that is so important to help you get a job. I, <sighs> you'll see later on what I, what I talk, what I mean by those connections help you, but you know, it's not everything. Sometimes 
sometimes there's just things that can't be helped. Um, I did learn that I really, really enjoy second through fourth grade. I know every grade has its difficulties, but for me, I feel like first grade, I, I definitely, I could do any grade. Okay, let me start off with that. But I feel most comfortable in kind of those middle grades. And the reason I think for that is because I think kindergarten and first is just a little bit young. I think I'm a more sarcastic teacher and I like to do kind of, I don't know, more older type things and really dive into content. And you can't really do that in kindergarten and first grade. As well as on the flip side, fifth grade, and I'm certified for sixth grade as well, even though I don't really work in sixth grade, but fifth grade and sixth grade are just too much, too much for me. Um, I want to keep trucking on here, but yeah, I found out that those were kind of my ideal grades that I really, really enjoyed working in. Um, you do have to work really hard. A long-term sub can, like, just getting that first experience can then get you that second experience, and I'm hopeful that it will give me that third experience as well. So I think a long-term sub, I mean, keep applying all throughout the year for any jobs that come up, and a long-term sub can really bring you a long way. Um, that's kind of all the little things that I have. Obviously, each school district, each grade, each classroom is completely different. So walking into a new one every single day was really, really hard. But it was really amazing too, and I'm so happy that I subbed for this first year. I think I learned so much that I would have missed out on if I wasn't a sub. So I'm really happy that I got this experience. Now we are six minutes in, or more so, <laughs> at least that's what my counter says right now, including the intro, but um, not including the intro, sorry. So I wanna share my my news with you guys. Um, while I was just kinda hanging out today, I did get a call for the first grade position that I interviewed for, and unfortunately I did not get it which it, it makes me a little bit frustrated because she said there's really no explanation or reason why I didn't get it which makes it even harder because talking about how a long-term sub can get you really far and connections can get you really far I mean the principal there was one of my references and I had a long-term sub in first grade so it's really it's a hard pill to swallow to know that I had both of those things. I mean, really good connections at the school and different things like that, and I still didn't get it. So it's kind of strange to me, and she had no explanation for why I didn't get it, just that there were a bunch of great candidates and they decided to go with someone else. So I don't really know. It's kind of hard to, to know that, but as I was saying, like, I'm not super comfortable in first grade. I can do it, but it's not my ideal spot to be. So I think, again, I think like I explained last week, like everything happens for a reason, and I'm still waiting on the call for the fourth and fifth grade interview, so hopefully I'll be able to update you guys, but if I can't, and you have to just wait <laughs> until I come back from Australia, then that's what it'll be. I'll try to post it on Instagram to kind of let you guys know like what's going on. But yeah, I, I don't really have anything else to say besides, bummer, sorry you had to wait so long to find out that, but um, yeah, so this video is getting kind of long. I apologize for that. I just wanted to share my experiences over this school year and Again, thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. I, I've i gained a lot of subscribers over this past year and I'm really happy to see you guys commenting and rooting for me and being excited and giving me advice from your experiences and sharing. Like, I've been teaching for 10 years and it's really fun to see you teach. Like, things like that just really get me excited when I see your guys' comments and I see that you guys are watching. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and I hope you guys have a fabulous summer. I'll catch you when I come back from Australia, and yeah, I hope you guys just have a wonderful summer. I can't wait to share summer school with you guys and kind of what that's like. That's a new experience for me, and I'm really excited. So 
again, I wish you all wonderful summers, and I will catch you around June, I don't know, end of June. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful remainder of either the school year or the summer. Bye, guys! Thank you.